So here, what can we conclude? What can Stephen conclude about the experiment? Okay, conclude by experiment. Results, ah. So don't tell me, say, oh, the bigger the wingspan, the longer it takes to stay <laughs> in the air. Then I might as well just say relationship. Relationship thing what? As the wingspan of the paper plane increases, the time taken for it to stay in the air increases. Then it's the same as my relationship. Question. So what's what? the difference between conclusion and versus relationship questions? How much conclusion? Conclusion is that you have to use the results. So what? You can see the results. This is my results, right? Right? Remember I say my results is my MV, right? My MV is what? The time taken, right? Correct? That's my results. Mm -hmm. so my MV, time taken for the plane to stay in the air. Okay? What does this show you? The bigger the wingspan of the paper plane is fine. Then you must tell me what happened. How come it stays longer in the air? More air resistance? Yes, like what Anya says, air resistance. More oh. air resistance. Is this shown oh. in, the, in, the, in the graph? No one. Is you come up with the conclusion yourself. So use the results. Never say copy the results. Use the results and then come to your own conclusion. Okay? Wow. Make sense? Yes, there's a difference between my conclusion and relationship questions. Conclusion means you use the results and then you see what you can derive from there. Okay? And the results is your MV, your measured variable. So you just see the measured variable part only. So as the wingspan of the paper plane increases, or you can say the bigger the wingspan, sure. What happened? The amount of air resistance acting on, use the word acting on as well, the, pay, the plane increases. You cannot use air resistance for relationship. Because relationship is whatever, unless they ask you about what's the relationship between the air resistance and the plane. But if they never ask you that, you cannot create your own things. 